what is up everybody we are back with another video well i'm back for right now um and you stayed home uh, today we want to do something a little bit uh different we're gonna take you uh through our day so i'm gonna start it off right here it's what is it 5 19 a.m i usually uh i usually come open the gym in the morning um i have my first client at 5 30 so i wake up around 5 45 uh here we are in front of the gym it's dead right now nobody's here but yeah um we're gonna go in there train my first two clients well three four clients my four four clients and um and then drew comes in but let's get in there for now let's get in here we're back Murphy in the house she wakes up at five as well get her workout in before work uh, by the way I'm not um, I'm not working out right now um, so you guys I don't know if I mentioned it but I got a hair procedure done so I got arrested another another good week it's been about a week um, yeah it's been a little hard not to train honestly cuz you know you're used to a certain routine and then uh, and then I gotta I gotta be here all day and and look at this and not be able to train but um like I said uh, I'm gonna wait on my first client and uh, then we'll get the day going before we start the day off gotta get those aminos ready for the day um, we're taking a couple of weeks off all the supplements but these are just aminos this is the gallon this one will be done by like 10 a.m honestly and then um i'll probably go to a, through another half the rest of the day wrapped up first client of the day at I miss it 6 15 got another client at 6 30 then uh, we train the owners of the of the gym here at 7 around 7 through 8 sip on this right here as you can see already more than half a gallon there what's good youtube basically what we're going to show you what me and my dad are going to show you is our daily routine and what we do throughout um our normal day so this is how like a typical day in the week looks like for us my dad already started the video so he probably showed you his uh, morning routine or what he does to start his day uh so i just got to the gym right now he just left uh, to train a couple more clients it's, it's around eight yeah it's eight in the morning i'm about a hit some legs. I usually train this early just because later on I have school and I have to come back here uh, to work. So I have school twice a day, so I gotta fit that in between the schedule. You know, gym comes first. Nah, I'm just kidding. But yeah, we're gonna get this leg day in. My dad should be back right now in a few, um, in a few minutes. So he's gonna help me record this leg day for you guys. But yeah, I've been training by myself since I still have a week now, a week straight training by myself, going into two weeks. So it, it does feel different training by myself, but hey, just waiting for the gym partner to come back. As you guys know, my dad was out. He's almost back like a week or two, so yeah, gotta lock it in, but let's get this leg day in. Uh, just met Andrew here. What time is it? 9.02. So it's 9, 9.02. Just got done with five clients and but what are you hitting right here? Like day. So Man, I can't bro, train obviously. I can't train. <laughs> we got a way on the recovery like I said. Um, obviously right now our schedule is a little bit different. Uh, so he's gonna train right now while I clock in the gym and work. So yeah. we'll get a couple of clips of him hitting some he came. 
came just in time, my second working set. While he takes his time off, I'm gonna train two days, take a rest, then another two days and take a rest. So that's how I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing it because he told me that basically if you're trying to gain muscle, you need to train at 100%. If you don't have a rest day and you train like three or four days straight, then your body's well like at 50, 60%. And in order to gain muscle, your body needs to be at its peak, which is at 100%. So. In I'm order a, to make any gains. Yeah, in order to make any gains, see progress in strength, better pumps. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all out two days so I can earn the recovery, rest, and then back at it. So lesson to be learned: if you really, really want to train smart, you need to recover. You cannot go six, seven days training and not letting the body recover. There will be zero gains. You're doing more damage. Than good it's tough but I, yeah it's hard when, when we when we when we you're used to training training hard and, and you know you're in here in the gym you want to train every day but if you want to do it the smart way you need to give the body a rest just imagine coming in first day going at a hundred second day going at a hundred your body is not able your muscles especially are not able to recover at 100 percent if you if you're just training at 60 percent gonna make any gains at all and you so, you may think you're at 100 just because like you have a decent pumper or because you're pumper. hyped about working out but in all honestly in all honesty the body cannot recover that fast especially if you're natty you're natty so let's go Doing four working sets. This was my second one. I'm doing uh, at least like six to seven all out, and then um, that's it for squats. Just, just to uh, to touch back on what I just said about um, recovery and stuff. Um, I've been there. I've been there. I've been so freaking obsessed with training that I'll go six, seven days, no rest. And then uh, you get to a point where you, you're stuck. You're not seeing any progress in strength. You're not seeing any difference in your body. And it's because of that. You're fatiguing the muscle. You're not letting, letting it completely rest so you can train at 100, so you can actually make gains. You know, I was just saying that I feel like that, like my strength hasn't gone up. I mean, it hasn't decreased, but I haven't made that jump yet. But and tell them tell the truth about how you've been supposed to uh, have been training until so I, I just honestly I just gave him like a, a kind of like a reality check last week because he was fucking he was going six seven days no rest one out of like a million reality checks to you but yeah. um yeah I was I was training well we normally train six six days out yeah, of the week. we usually we were going six days one rest but yeah i would i wouldn't take the rest day until literally like the end of the week so and it would just be that, like because you you were doing four four to six miles as well yeah, yeah i was doing cardio but you yeah. see so I, that's gonna be part of my new rest day i'm gonna just do cardio one rest day then the next one like just fully recovered yeah because, but you can do both every single day six yeah days. yeah there was a point where i was doing like four or five miles before leg day it's like there was no no point i was just beating it up more it was already dead
to. If you want like a simple workout, not over complicate anything, the top three, all you need to do, squats, leg press, and lunges. Those three, you hit all parts of your legs. Also in calves at the end, if you want to do it. <laughs> Alright guys, that was, that was a leg workout. Three exercises, all out, maximum effort. I also started with um, quad extensions to warm up, so I'll count that one, but that's it. No more than that. That's all you need if you train hard enough. If you do the more, more than any of what I just did, then you're just overtraining at that point. It's already about to be 10. I got class at 11, 11.30, so I'm gonna go home, eat breakfast, shower, and then head to school. Show you guys my breakfast. This is first meal of the day, uh, post, post workout meal. Uh, nothing too crazy, just two breads, peanut butter, and then eggs with uh, meat sausage patties. Um, this is what my everyday breakfast looks like. Um, usually on days that I have school, I train fasted and, and then I eat breakfast. So yeah, nothing too crazy. Still got more calories, uh, more meals coming later. So uh, this is all I'm gonna eat right now. And then um, my dad will probably show you guys what he's gonna eat. All right, we are back home. It's 10 46 a.m. and we're gonna have our first meal this is our uh, eggs scramble eggs a uh, couple of meat patties here and a uh, low carb tortilla so this is uh this is um, our daily morning routine this is what this is uh, around the same time i always eat every single day um usually it's my pre-workout meal because we usually train around 12 when I train but like I said uh, I got another week I'm gonna say 450 500 calories I'm trying to keep the calories low uh, high protein carbs and fats I always kind of like lower them down but yeah this is this is gonna be the first meal all right we're ready for school change it to a calm fit uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head to school right now. My class is only about like an hour long. The class I have later on is about like two hours. So just a quick class right now, an hour. Then I'm gonna head back to the gym to work. Sweet. But yeah, the next gym lay drop, these graphic tees are sick. Got like a little race car design on them. And I'll, like I said, I cut the sleeves and I cropped it a little bit. Part of the drip, part of the drip. Took a quick shower. Uh, now we're... Just finished cooking meal number two. We have some pasta right here and some good old chicken, about 35 grams of protein, six ounces of pasta. And like I said, we're trying to keep calories just a little bit lower just because um, I'm not training. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna eat this meal, get ready, and we're gonna head back to uh, to the gym. I got a couple clients to train and I have to uh, manage the gym for another couple hours. Drew should be there right now, so we're gonna go see him right after we get this meal in to go back to work a little cold start just picked up a couple protein shakes little snack right here it's a peanut butter protein shake and taking one for uh for juice he's at work right now so yeah i'm gonna head to the gym clock in for a bit and uh have a couple clients in the in the evening so yeah let's run it all right, we're here. here you go, it was bro. good. Uh, dang, it came through. He's only doing it for the video, guys. Yeah, I never do it. It's my he friend. never does this, even I'm surprised. <laughs> it's five right now. I got like an hour left. I'm um, still clocked in, so after that, I got night class. So one more hour here. Work done. Um, I was here for about like four hours. A uh, pretty chill day. I haven't been home since I had breakfast one more class left um i'm gonna go to um, i'm gonna go to my math class probably my most important class i'm taking and the hardest if there's any weakness i have it's it's math i'm like so bad at it but i'm pretty locked in right now i got a midterm in two days so this class i gotta lock in hopefully i don't fall asleep but it's still light out too so by the time you guys see me head out it's gonna be dark so yeah i'll catch you guys when i finish class Class done. Um, I just got home right now. It is nine. Yeah, it's around nine p.m. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie, it was boring. It was boring, but 
Usually when I finish class, the first thing I look forward to is having dinner because there's a huge gap in between where I didn't eat, so I'm gonna make up for all those calories I I haven't had. I haven't ate since the shake that my dad brought me from work. Hey, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to eat. Every time it's a banger. Shout out mom too for making it. Meal heating up right now. Let me show you guys real quick. Mmm, we got steak, chicken, and a whole lot of pasta. Yeah, that's gonna be our basic day-to-day -day life. Uh, Monday through Friday, this is basically what we do on the basis. This is how our schedule looks. Um, normally, you know, he would work out with me, we would work out together, but since he's taking a break, um, that's how his schedule is looking right now. But I have school, it's uh, usually more chill, but that's how it is right now. Work, school, and then eating some good food. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, stay tuned for more content and always comment down below some suggestions you guys want to see from me and my dad You know, we're always open to suggestions and I appreciate you guys catch you